Hey everyone, it's John Gonzalez and Amy Sherman. Today we're at Beer to Mac, Mackinac City, Michigan, and we have a few beers in front of us, Amy. Uh, we have all 15 beers <laughs> that they are offering right now at Beer to Mac. These guys are located just off the highway, the, the kind of southern exit to Mackinac City, and they've been killing it the last couple of years, and they are blowing through beer like crazy. So we're going to try all these and tell you what we think. Um, but we cannot guarantee that they will be on tap when you come because they are so very busy here. <laughs> all right, folks, we'll be right back after we taste all these beers. Okay, so we, we did it. Success. <laughs> 15 sips of some great beer from Beer to Mac. Yeah. Danny, thank you so much for sharing all of your incredible creations with us. Do you have a favorite? Oh, I don't know. I think there's a time and a place for all beers. <laughs> Good, statement. Good statement. Yeah, I like that. I mean, all, when you make them all, you know, you write the recipe. They're all just different. We're just trying to be true to style and making them real approachable. Um, I have to say, I really like the Jacobs Farmhouse. Ah, yes, that would be right. Uh, As we review our notes, yeah, uh, that would be yeah, that was somewhere a, in it's, yes. Beer. After it's uh, the first one after the blueberry. This one right here. Yeah, I, that, that was a fantastic beer. I really enjoy that one. That's, that's nice. That got double stars for me, which is a good sign. Rock and roll. <laughs> I said it was super complex and really peppery, kind of. Like yeah, that. yeah. It had a lot of things going on. It's, it's really complex, and that's what we like about it, I think. Um, there's a lot of women that come in that say, oh, I only drink, you know, I only drink wine, I'm not a beer drinker. And I say, well, do you like complex? Review it again, please. You know? yeah. <laughs> do you like okay, thank complex you. beers, you know, with, and then... So, you know, when they're tasting them, they're not looking for, oh, is this a beer? Do I like it? They're looking for the complexity in the beer. Mm -hmm. And I think that they find it that much more enjoyable. Yeah. It's a, I can see that. It's a Saison. It's about 8%. It uh, comes in the ABV, a 24 IBUs. But I love, I just love, like you were saying, how complex it is, Amy. I just, the flavor, there's just a lot of flavor there. Of Every it's single... Almost a hint of sweetness, uh, too. Yeah. yeah. And the, malt. the unique thing about that one is we're using all French... Um, Strissel Spaltz, which is a, a noble hop from France, the northern Alsace region. Um, and so it kind of plays well with the beer de Mac and our French theme. So uh, we were happy that that one really turned out well. Yeah, that was definitely one of our favorites too. All right, uh, John, in the first section. Yes, did first you, section. Did you have any favorites in that one? Uh, I think uh, I think you and I were, were uh, both... Uh, loving the Yugo. the Yugo. I think we're both loving the Yugo here, yeah. Easy drinking. Easy drinking, kind yes. of a great alternative to a mass market beer, but so much better. And it had like a little little bit of lemon almost in it. It felt like yeah. it was refreshing. Yeah. It's really crisp. It's really nice, um, you know, for, you know, to crystallize and for it to, for it to be so net like smooth and easy drinking in the summertime. I think it's a really, really nice summertime beer. Now, Danny, this was one of the first beers you had on tap, right? Or one uh, of the, in the early part of everything, right? Uh, well, it used, the Yugo, we kept the name. It was a Kolsch. Ah, we, that's right. Yeah. Which was a little uh, a little higher ABV than that. That's coming in, you know, real light. Uh, the Kolsch was a little little more. I mean, it was a Kolsch. It was yeah. a Christmas but... Um, well, that brings up a great point that you've kind of redone all of your recipes. Yeah, here. yeah, they may have, you know, some of them may have the same names but because we just like the name. Sure. Um, you know, the Yugo being it was the lightest, it's our lightest car, beer, car, the lightest car. 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 <laughs> Precisely. So, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Okay, that was a really great one. So then um, we both, uh, we both uh, the, the IPA, that's that's a great, uh, what did you say, it's kind of an entry level IPA. Like a gateway it, IPA, gateway, yeah. Gateway, because it wasn't overly bitter, um, didn't have that that bite or that big sure. punch. It was really well balanced and so very approachable. As yeah, the, the interesting thing about that beer is it's um, primarily hopped with Galaxy Hops out of Australia, which is just a very, very nice all-around hop. Um, and you know, you get, a, you get a lot of tropical fruits, peach, maybe key lime on the nose, but the bitter is like a smooth bitter. It's not very like a smooth. punch. Yeah. You don't, I mean, it's, the bitter's still there, but you don't get that punch that some hops will give you. 
Um, and man, we put that on tap two days. The, the first day we put it on, we sold 29 pints of it. Wow. So, so it's gone over really nicely. And we should also mention, Amy, on the same uh, tier here, yeah. too, is is your uh, blueberry. Oh, yeah, the blueberry wheat. Yeah, the yeah. blueberry wheat, which of course we saw on Mackinac Island for the first time. Yes. But we love this beer. We both fell in love with it. Yeah, yeah it's a really nice beer. We did tweak that recipe as well. Um, but it's far and away our number one seller. You know, people up here, it's summertime, it's sunny, they want something that's, you yep. know, they're something that's got a, it's, it's a 6% ABV, so it's got a little uh, yeah. gumption. I like but, that. Uh, gumption's a good word. But and, gumption and, to take away your gumption. And, and you're also putting in the, the real blueberries, not the fake ones, the yes. real ones, yes. and uh, they're, they're kind of moving around. Yeah, they bounce up and down. Um, it's like a drink in a show. <laughs> it's a little game you play. Yeah, yeah it, it's funny. nice. <laughs> All right, I mean, let's go over to the last uh, paddle there. Yeah, here I'd like this was the lake effect. That is a tier two. That was the last. One. Yes, yeah. and that was really great too. I thought it had a little bit of spice, and I couldn't figure it out. And then I read it was coriander. Coriander. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, what is yeah. that? Yeah, that was that was really nice, very approachable, uh, good balance. Uh, that'd be another easy drinker at five point three percent ABV. Yeah. Um, pretty low IBUs, only about thirty seven. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that was one of my other favorites. How about you, Guns? Yeah, no, I, I would agree with you on that. I think we both liked uh, that as well. Uh, and then to go over to the uh, the last paddle there, uh, I liked... The Beard Yeah, the Beard of Guard, both the, the last two there uh, were fantastic. Now, the Beard of Guard, you're saying, is a special beer? Uh, well, we, we are using a French ale yeast that we import from France, and it's quite a process getting it there's a waiting list because they just <laughs> they don't. want they want their uh, mac and cheese bro. yeah <laughs> but it's really nice it's a really complex beer and, and beer de garde is you know translates to beer for aging mm -hmm. um so they used to make that beer in the winter and then serve it in the summer and that's what we've done is we we've, we've brewed that quite a while back and it's been aging and uh, it's just really nice. It will debut when? Uh, we are taking that one and uh, actually the Winnie the Bulldog, our Delicious Pale Ale, and the Jacobs Farmhouse. Those are the ones that are going to Bliss Fest. Fantastic. And when is Bliss Fest? That is... Uh, uh, sometime this summer. Yes, yeah, sometime this summer. <laughs> and there you have it. There you go. Facts from here to <laughs> Now these are all really uh, great beers. And of course, you are uh, at the height of the season, so again, they can change um, at any given moment because they're going through so many beers. So be uh, aware of that and be patient when you come in to, and just always see what they have on tap because it's always, always yeah, a mixed bag, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, if people want to get more information about Beard and Mac and want to plan their visit up here, where should they go for more info? Uh, they can visit us on our Facebook page, you know, Beard and Mac's Facebook page, or you can go to our website, which is www.beardandmac.com. Um, and then we're on all the social media. Uh, you know, so. We love it. All right, there you go. It's our beer tasting from Beer to Mac right here.